Okay guys, it's the new year and I'm here to help you achieve your nutritional goals. So come right back for my paleo pork egg rolls. Fit Paleo. Alright guys, this one's called the Cook It, Pound It, Stuff It, Cook It, Sauce It. See if you can follow along. I've got a hot skillet here. Uh, I'm going to start off with two cloves of garlic. Boom. Hit those with the knife, then run the knife through it, let's say two times. And then we're going for about the same amount, I'm going to say right there, oh, a little bit more, of ginger. And this is kind of Asian, so maybe we do have a little bit more ginger than garlic. Put one of these, flatten that off, and then I'll go boom. Boom. It's a two to one ginger to garlic. We're gonna say a uh, quarter cup ginger and two tablespoons of garlic. Oil in the pan, ginger, garlic. Next up, we're gonna uh, work a carrot. I've got this fancy peeler. We're gonna peel here. We'll cut the top and bottom off too. And then the other side, we're gonna hit this. So now we've got our julienne strips from that fancy peeler. I'm just gonna cut here. You could use a box grater. You could run it through your food processor to shred it. I think this is probably the easiest way to do it. Add the carrots to the pan. Then our onion, we're gonna go with half of an onion. Boom. Then we're just gonna mince that up or do a super small dice, about the same size of this stuff. And onion in the pan. Pinch of salt. All right, next up, red bell pepper. We'll go with half of it. So I'm just gonna do that. And then here, flesh it out a little bit, take some of this stuff out of the middle. Into the pan. And I'll add a little bit of water. I've got some Napa cabbage. One, two, three, four, six. We'll go seven leaves, Napa cabbage, seven leaves. Cut the bottom off. One, two, three, four. Then we'll get the cabbage in the pan. Then we've got a little tamari or gluten-free soy sauce. Let's go one tablespoon. One tablespoon, we'll stir that in. So while this is cooking, guys, we're gonna pound, uh, we got six thin cut pork chops. So follow along, check this out. Okay, then as I'm pounding these out, I use my the spike side first. The thing I like about this, guys, you can now flip this over and now it won't really break the meat apart anymore. It'll just start to flatten it out. So what we're going for, I want a shape about like this, kind of rectangular. We'll put the stuffing in there and then we'll roll it up. So watch this. Boom, okay. So just about what we're looking for. Pull this off and I'm just gonna make sure I get all the plastic pieces. Boom, had a couple extra here I just saw. Okay guys, so I think it was what? Cook it, pound it, stuff it, cook it, sauce it. And we've cooked it and pounded it. Now we're gonna stuff it. So I'll take the stuffing and I'll just distribute it evenly among our six rolls. All right, now we're gonna roll it up. I'll put the stuffing on the one side. Take this baby, roll it tight just like that. Okay, now as we're rolling, we're keeping this clear so that we can get protein on protein. We're gonna set this seam side down in the pan and that'll cook it together and hold it closed. You could also wrap this with some scallions or uh, use a toothpick or something like that, but if you do it this way, that's not necessary. So if you've seen the paleo chicken taquitos of mine, um, you notice that the pork here is a lot sturdier than the chicken, it gives us a more consistent roll. So we don't have any holes anywhere throughout it and they all look about the same. Now we're just gonna season the outside, salt, and I'm actually gonna flip this and kind of season the underside, there we go, before I set it in the pan. Okay, and then the beauty of this plastic wrap setup is that you can just take
done, right? It's already clean. Now we're gonna sauce it. So for that, I've got some white vinegar, about a half of a cup. Boom. Uh, and to that, I'm gonna add some shallots. Go here, underbelly, peel this baby. You see a thin slice here. Strong, got me right in the eye. It's all right. Put that in with the vinegar. And then we'll go with some tamari. Let's go two tablespoons. And then a little bit of water, just to kind of dilute that. Cool. Now we'll bring in some heat. With the sriracha. There's no heat in here yet, right? So we gotta get it all here. And then mint, I'm gonna pull these mint leaves. And we'll just bunch. Actually, we're gonna check in on our pork quick. Let's check in there. Yeah, take a look. There we got a good seal. Happy with that. Okay, back over here, we're gonna bunch up all of our mint and do a chiffonade like this. We'll add that to the sauce. So we're pretty much ready to go. We're just gonna finish cooking these rolls and then we'll plate it up. All right guys, there it is. A little bit of leg work on these, right? You gotta admit it. You gotta pound them out. We had all those steps, right? Cook it, pound it, stuff it, cook it, sauce it, plate it, all of that. But in the end, it's gonna be worth it. So get out there, cook yourself some egg roe, and Nick is here helping you Keep it paleo.